Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Another place where you can select color is the swatches panel. Using the swatches panel is like using a traditional color palette when painting. You can load a set of colors that you want to use in an image file into the swatches panel. To view the swatches panel, select Window, Color Swatches from the menu bar. You will then see the swatches panel appear and show a set of selected colors. Place your mouse pointer over any color in the swatches panel to view the name of that color in a screen tip. You can resize the panel to view all of the colors available, just like with any other panel. To set the foreground color, click any of the colors in the swatches panel. To set the background color, hold down the control key on your keyboard and then click a color in the swatches panel. You can also customize the swatches panel to include or exclude colors. To remove a color from the swatches panel, hold down the Alt key on your keyboard. Then click the color to cut from the panel when you see the small scissors icon appear. The color you clicked is immediately removed from the swatches panel. To add a color, use either the Color Picker tool or Color Picker panel to select a new foreground color. To then add the selected color to the swatches panel, place your mouse pointer over the empty area of the panel. Your mouse pointer will turn into a small paint bucket when it is in the correct position. Then click to add the selected color to the color panel. Enter a name for the color into the Color Swatch Name text box and click the OK button. After you have modified the panel colors, you can then click the Panel Options button in the upper right corner of the panel and select the Save Swatches command to launch the Save dialog box. Type a name into the file name text box and then click the Save button to save the custom swatch set. RGB color display in a computer monitor varies depending on the operating system used by the computer. For instance, the colors in an RGB image on a Windows computer appear darker than the colors used on a Mac OS operating system. If the image you are working with needs to be handled on a computer that is not using the same operating system, you can simulate the color differences by selecting a different preset library of color swatches from the drop-down menu just above the color swatches. To load a saved swatch set, select Load Swatches from the side menu that appears when you click the Options button in the upper right corner of the panel. This will bring up the Load dialog box. Here you can select the name of the swatch set to load, and then click the Load button to load that set into the current set. To replace your current swatch set with another instead, select Replace Swatches from the Panel Option button's drop-down menu to open the Load dialog box. Here you can select the name of the swatch set with which you want to replace the current set. Then click the Load button in the dialog box to load that set and remove your current swatches. Note that after creating a custom swatch set, you can select it by using the drop-down menu at the top of the swatches panel above the currently displayed swatch set. To reset your swatches if needed, click the Panel Options button and then select the Preset Manager command from the menu that appears. In the Preset Manager dialog box, ensure that Swatches is selected from the Preset Type drop-down. Then click the More button in the upper right corner to view a drop-down menu. Select the Reset Swatches command to set the swatches back to their default settings. Then click the Done button. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.